Around 100 million years ago, one of the biggest known carnivores known to science roamed North Africa, the Spinosaurus. The Spinosaurus was a hugely successful carnivorous predator, reigning supreme for around 6 million years. It dominated its environment, making a name for itself amongst the highly effective carnivorous predators of its period. But the Spinosaurus didn't just make a name for itself, its family were equally impressive, the Spinosauridae. They were a family of megalosaurids. Members of this group were generally large, bipedal and effective hunters. And while the Spinosauridae are famous in their own right, the Spinosaurus gave this family some real clout. No other genus of the Spinosauridae family quite made it as close to the Spinosaurus's imposing and notable status. Now the Spinosaurus wasn't the first member of its family to arise or to rule in its environment. Just a few million years previous, all the way over in Brazil, a very close relative was playing the role of apex predator, this being the Oxalia quilimbenis. There have been very few fossils discovered of the Oxalia, and devastatingly, with part of that quantity lost in a museum fire, our information on the Oxalia is limited. Information on the Oxalia is often more educated guesswork than fact, and with some paleontologists even going as far as suggesting that the Oxalia was in fact just the juvenile Spinosaurus. But one thing most academics can agree on though, is that even if a small percentage of what we know about the Oxalia is true, Brazil had an impressively adept predator roaming its plains around 100 million years ago. Comparing fossil fragments with better known Spinosaurs, paleontologists estimate that the discovered Oxalia fossils were from a skull that was 4.5 feet long. This suggests that the Oxalia could have grown up to 39 feet long, weighing as much as 7 tons. If true, this would make it the largest known carnivorous dinosaur from Brazil. Obviously, the fossils recovered so far closely resemble those of the Spinosaurus, but it still remains unclear whether or not the Oxalia had the iconic dorsal sail. But what we do know is that unlike the Cristatusaurus and the Suchomimus, Oxalia did not have serrated teeth. It also differs from the Ungaturama limai, where it has no sagatal crest, which is the ridge of bone running lengthways along the midline of the top of the skull. Another notable fact about the Oxalia is that in comparison to the Spinosaurus, its snout was notably more rounded. Its facial features would have been more closely resembling a modern day crocodile, perfectly built for gripping slick and slippery prey. Like most Spinosaurids, Oxalia was semi-aquatic. Scientists believe it spent much of its time in rivers and estuaries using its dense bones, a common trait among Spinosaurids, to help stay submerged while hunting. Its nostrils were placed far back on the head. This was probably to avoid water getting inside its nostrils when fishing, allowing it to breathe while most of its head was underwater, just like a crocodile. It was likely a specialized fish hunter, potentially preying on Moswana and Lepitodes, two prehistoric fish that were absolutely massive. The Oxalia's long, narrow snout and conical teeth were perfectly designed to grip struggling prey without breaking them apart. But was it strictly a fish eater? Not necessarily. Some scientists speculate, like other Spinosaurids, it may have scavenged carcasses or ambushed smaller dinosaurs. This may have included smaller games such as juvenile titanosaurs or ornithopods. Not forgetting, Oxalia shared its rivers with early crocodiles and massive turtles, making them potential prey as well. Although this is all speculated, as direct evidence is incredibly lacking 